All right, hey everyone. So I am vlogging from my car today and I'm on the way to a field to do a little bit of testing. Uh, so I have a, uh, I'm doing a maiden and I've been working on this thing now for like, uh, like three days. I did not expect to do this. I'm actually building two quads. And the reason why is because last week I had a total disaster. I had a brand new Chameleon TI. I, I lost video for like 10 seconds. I tried to fly through it, but I basically hopelessly lost my a new quad. And all my other quads, like I've been trying to get to this place where I have two or three uh, identical builds that I can always kind of go to and really work on my skills, especially that the, now the weather is getting nice. And even like last week, all my builds are just a little bit different. So I decided just to kind of uh, put everything aside. And after I lost, I really, I lost that quad. I lost my GoPro. I lost a lot, a lot last week. Anyway, so I put that all aside and I'm not gonna worry about my old quads. I'm just building two identical uh, Chameleon TIs. I have all the parts. I spent Thursday, Friday night, and, and this morning building the first one. Some of the parts are a little bit new. I had to recase my run cam so I get I had because I need the three holes for the Chameleon TI. I'm, I'm using the grinder motors this time because my normal motors are not in stock. And I think that the grinder motors might be good. I like the fact there's no C clip, and they seem designed for people who crash a lot like me. Uh, and also I'm using the Wraith. 32 BEL Heli uh, ESCs, which are different. They're, they're a little bit cheaper. They're a little, and I, I, like, I like them a little bit more than the other ones I had, but it means I need to set up new software. So I've been getting like into this place where I'm downloading drivers and all of these problems I had like basically solved, which why when normally, you know, a new quad build for me takes like a few hours. This one took like ended up taking three, three days, really three, three nights. So anyway, I'm heading to the park to go ahead and, uh, and finish the uh, maiden. I did not, I did my hover test. Um, I have I have a new GoPro, one of the last session fives, probably that you're, I'm going to be able to get. So I have the warranty, but it's not going to be replaced this time. So I'm going to be a little more careful with the GoPro. I am going to record this maiden flight though, and I'll put it at the end of this video. Uh, I'm not going to do anything crazy because I don't want. To, I'm going to spend the rest of the weekend probably. I'm going to finish my second build of this, which should go a lot smoother because I have some of the pre-soldering done. And I have a lot of problems solved, so I don't anticipate that being too much time. But I'm going to ba basically spend most of this weekend just tuning these things up, making sure that they run the way I want to, to a point. So I'm going to uh, switch over once I get back to the field. And uh, as I'm uh, doing a few last finishing touches, I'm going to talk about some of... I'm going to show you the build itself and I'll show you what I did. I, I really made... I want to make this build, like, rock solid. This is something I, I want to be able to crash and crash and crash and not really have too many problems with. I have, you know, I have the small axe antenna, a lot, a lot of hard lessons learned are in this build. You know, I had the, uh, you know, the titanium uh, camera cage. I have the run cam, the, uh, the protector for my GoPro. I have, uh, I have my antenna mounting solution, which really works for me. I have the wiring really tight. Uh, I have the ESCs protected. I got the, I have the battery. There's an adhesive for the battery and the GoPro to keep it all together. So I'm really hoping this is going to be my rock solid build, and this is basically it. I'm I'm done building. I have a few more builds uh, on the way uh, from Armaton, so I am going to be doing some more building after this. But I'm not buying any more quads here. I'm I'm really uh, I'm hitting the limit of my uh, quad budget. So, adios. Uh, I'm going to use the magic wand to fast forward to the flight field. All right, here I am. Uh, so I'm at my normal office park, but wow, look, it's like a day has passed. Spring has suddenly gotten here. There's like blossoms on all these trees. So. If my thing actually seems to be working, I may actually try to get some pictures of these. You know, I can't put, I can't uh, pass up a great <laughs> photo opportunity. So, wow, really cool. It's been so long since I've seen leaves on trees other than pine trees. I'm like freaked out to even see anything that looks cool. All right, so really quick, here is the new build. And let's see, so this is a lot like my old builds. <laughs> uh, you got the new Go, I got GoPro protection. Also as brightly colored as I could find it. I have a recased run cam from Rotoriot, so this is my favorite camera. And before I had a Fox here on this, and that was not that cool. This is the Chameleon Ti, which is probably one of the strongest frames that you can get. Uh, really rock solid. I mean, there's really almost no way to break it. And there is the uh, Bach grinder grinders, the Rotoriot motors. So I'm hoping that they work out. I don't really have experience with them yet, but uh, more more KV than I'm used to. But they should be nice and strong. Of course a small antenna and I also got these skids here which you would never think something like that would actually be cool for a quad but it's, it's really good to have that kind of protection so you know I'm gonna go uh, toss this thing out there and uh, see if I can get some uh, flying in
All right, so initial thoughts. Um, I think it's flying good, but I think that the FPV camera is just, I think the sensor is, is not in place. It's like really shaky, but it's like, um, it's, it feels like the thing itself is actually flying well. I, I have my GoPro on, so I'll, I'll review the footage to see what it looks like. Uh, it does fly. The motors are a little warmer uh, on the default PIDs than I'm used to, to, so I'm not sure how much leeway I have with tuning with these guys, so we'll see what, how that goes. It's also D-Shot 1200 too, so that's a little bit different. A lot of differences in this, in this one. Uh, engines are just a little bit more powerful, so the punch-outs are just a little bit better than I'm used to. Uh, didn't really get, get the speed tested or anything like that, so we'll see how that, that part goes. I'm gonna do just one more flight. Um, I have four batteries, but I think I'm gonna go home after the first, this next flight. I'm gonna, get, I'm, trying, I'm gonna try to get a nice, a nice photo anyway uh, here because uh, all these budding trees, but I, I need to fix that camera or just put another camera in there for the time being because I can't have it shaking like that. It's, it's not gonna work, so. But um, I'll go make sure that's actually the problem and then uh, basically kind of keep, keep, keep working on it. So, ciao.